Mmm. -hmm. Berengar, mysterious witcher and outcast. I finally found him. I don't like this. What do you want, witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some brooks I will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't? <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that.
nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know, but I don't want to fight you. <laughs> oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again. That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally.
like this. We can talk by the fire. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of Witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The Witchers made me a mutant. The Professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half-spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half-spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light, Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the elven handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sainted legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. Farewell.
Geralt. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there, the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. I'll speak plainly. I like what I see and want to get to know you. How nice. I'm no easy lass, though. You understand a gentleman must court a lady, am I right? You are. Now that we know each other better, you should take the initiative and bring me something sweet. A sugar doll sweet as me. Just what I wanted. Let's take our relationship further. Come home with me. Let me thank you. Let's go. Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Sometimes he's driven off by Dagon's worshippers, but he always returns. I see. Your reputation precedes you. Meaning? Five monsters lie dead. That's worthy of a reward. This runic stone is said to be very powerful. Take it. Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. 
They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I see. There's also the fish people. A scourge on our lives. How so? They got vicious, driving us away from the water, wounding some of us, and killing a few. Julian knows more. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesiba. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Farewell. I'm getting old. Look here! Our champion king! <laughs> True queen. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this and... She is impressive. Look at that glistening coat! Her tail! And that udder! Mm-hmm. We plan to mate with a champion bull from Bullsville. Mm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. I work too hard. What brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Tamarian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. I have other specialties. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? Gladly. There you are, bless you. Any work? Yes, I'm having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus? I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal. I'm feeling under the weather. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite, which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? I'll help. 
not a word to my wife. Beringer mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks, equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. You asked for help. What did you want me to do? Bring me nine handfuls of shadow dust. To do that, go to the fields and kill several devourers, from which you can scrape the dust. Farewell. The year ahead of us. chapel to some divinity who worships here. Greetings, sir. Never mind the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. Geralt. How are you with the bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at fifty paces. Great. Yes? Don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, the doors wouldn't close. The stairs are such that even the cat fears them, and when it rains... I see. Besides, I prefer to use my bow. One day, I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck. Yes? Farewell. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. There's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? How long will the repairs take? About a month, if the Griggs kept away. A month? For a few small cracks? Not only repairs, I'll make it wider. 
The River Ghost will have the finest bridge in Temeria. Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The River Ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Hmm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans, or a book about spectres and the King of the Wild Hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. Sir? Where would I find the witch? In a small hut by the tavern. She'll tell you how to drive off Griggs. I'd go myself, but she has the evil eye. Why do you think the Griggs are your troublemakers? I witnessed Griggs gallivanting about the divine statue by the bridge. They see the bridge as their territory. How about talking to them? Even if I could ward off the night demons, it would be pointless. Griggs don't speak with humans. Interesting. This body has been here long, but something keeps the bones from disintegrating. Thank <laughs> you. 